Good afternoon. I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is fading manipulative people out of your life. So manipulative behavior is not good in any form. And when this starts to make you feel anxious, when you're around people who maybe are a little bit more controlling or have an assertive a viewpoint on life and everything and, and it just makes you feel super uncomfortable to be around them but they're part of your family there may be lifelong friendships maybe it's even your partner you have to combat this as quickly as you can because the further along it goes the harder it is to talk about it the harder it is to address it because things have been going on for so long and now you're feeling uncomfortable with how you can bring it up. How do you start this conversation with somebody? When you start to push away the man manipulative behavior with people in your life and not allowing it, it will dissipate. Because if you're not putting yourself into the situation all the time, they're not able to be that way with you. So it's a kind of a win-win. It's a win for you and it makes them Maybe think about their actions if you're not spending as much time with them. So when you know you're in a really good friendship or relationship, partnership, whatever the situation may be, you walk away from seeing them and you feel good. You don't walk away feeling drained or feeling anxious or feeling nervous, scared or whatever negative energy you're feeling. You don't want that. When you're in a healthy environment with somebody, you do walk away with a big smile on your face. You look forward to seeing them again. You really enjoyed your time with them. And you go home and you feel good. When somebody is constantly making you feel just uncomfortable even, you have to start questioning why you're giving that person your energy. Because it's not, you know, life is so short and you don't want to spend it you know, giving your time to the wrong people when there's the right people in your life that deserve your attention. I think it just makes sense to be really aware of your surroundings and who you're giving your energy to because it will make your life a lot smoother when you're paying attention to this. A lot of times we don't even realize that we're spending so much time with somebody that doesn't make us feel good at the end of the day. But sometimes we feel pressured to be there because it's our family or maybe it's our partner. If it's your partner or your family and you're destined to be with them for a long time, you need to learn how to speak up. You need to tell them gently how this is affecting you. If they're not willing to own it or change it or try and come to some kind of compromise with how you are together when you're together, then you have to reevaluate whether it's worth you staying in this type of partnership or friendship. So some of the type of people that you might be encountering and you're wondering why you're not feeling great is some people are good at what they do. They're little con artists, you know, there's passive aggressive people. There's gaslighters who change it around and make you think it was you that did something. There's people who are just controlling and want to be the one that rules the roost. They, it's all about them and they don't really ask things about you. It's just, it's, you spend time with them and all you come out of it after the end of the day is you've spent the whole time talking about what's going on in their life and they haven't asked you anything. These are the kind of people you really want to be aware of because they're energy vampires. They're taking away your feel good moment and it's making it all about what's going on for them or they're making you feel bad about yourself by how they're talking to you. And this isn't how you should ever feel after you spend time with somebody. You need to understand that when you're in a good, healthy situation, it's reciprocated. You get both get something out of it. You walk away, you know a little bit about what's going on in their life, they know a little bit of what's going on in your life. And you share things with each other. Maybe they need some help with something and you need some help with something and you, you're there for each other under those terms. You're not there to go home and feel terrible about what, what happened between the two of you. You want to feel good when you walk out of there. There's also people who are so much about themselves that they're always late, that your time's not important to them because it, what matters is what's going on in their day and if they end up being a half an hour, an hour late, oh well, that's too bad because they were busy. 
that's not the kind of person you want in your life. And you don't want an opportunist, somebody who comes in because of what you give them or what you're doing for them. You want to have it where it's very mutual, very mutual, loving, giving friendship or partnership, whatever the case is that you're in. Because if you're having any anxiety about anything, whether it's even a colleague at work or a sister or something along those lines, it's going to continue to be an unhealthy environment for you until something changes. That's either you spend less time with them, you open up and talk to them about it, tell them it's unacceptable and that you're not going to be around them anymore. Whatever the case is, you can't continue to be around these manip manipulative type of people because eventually it takes a toll on your self-esteem, it takes a toll on your mental health, and it takes a toll on your physical body because of what it does to you when you're around them. If you're confused about where you fit in someone's life, take a little space from them. See how they handle it. Do they miss you? Do they contact you, ask you how you are? Do they want to see you? If you change up a bit of the dynamics in that, then you will find out where you fit in someone's life. You want to make sure that you're giving your time to people who truly are invested in, in being around you. Sometimes people don't even understand or they're aware that they are taking advantage of it or taking you for granted. And it's super important that you get something back from people, that it's not always you giving. You're not always the one that's doing everything in the friendship or the relationship. You want to make sure that it's always reciprocated. We're going to have days for sure where we might need somebody or they might need us and that's okay. As long as you're getting something back from the relationships that you're allowing yourself to be in, you're on the right track and that's important. So in closing to this topic today, if you're in a one-sided uh, situation, friendship, it's not going to stand the test of time because it's very unbalanced. And if you want things to progress and to be in a, in a very strong, uh, strong situation in these friendships and relationships, you have to be on an even keel with each other. It has to have balance. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments, subscribe to my channel, and I would love it if you could leave me any any show topics or anything you would like me to discuss. I really appreciate when you do that. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.